Hi guys and welcome back to another How To Dribble Like video and today's episode is all about Kylian Mbappe. So before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to Band for sponsoring this video. Band is actually a free app that you can download onto your mobile device and it's ideal for anybody who's involved in any kind of group or any kind of club or anything like that. So if you're involved in a running club, a homework club, maybe you've got a five-a-side football team and you want to be able to manage that group, this is going to make it a lot more seamless and more effective so that everybody can stay on the right page. It allows you to have group chats, it allows you to have individual chats, it has a calendar integrated into it so you can see schedule any training sessions, study sessions, things like that, so that everybody can be on the same page and there'll never be any miscommunication between you and your group. So if you are managing any groups or organizations, I would recommend checking out the Band app. I've put the link in the description box below where you can download it for absolutely free onto your mobile device. So thanks again for Band for sponsoring this video, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So if we watch Kylian Mbappe play, we realize he's got an incredible amount of speed and he really uses this to advantage, especially within his dribbling. A lot of these moves are very simple. All they're doing is unbalancing the defender for a split second so that he can accelerate away and then there's not many defenders that are gonna be able to catch up to him. So if you wanna improve your speed so that these moves become more effective, I'll put a link to some training sessions on the screen right now so you can always improve your speed no matter how fast or slow you think you are. But let's get right into the first move. So the first move is a very simple fake shot. And this one's really effective, especially if you have a good shot in the first place, because if you're acting like you're gonna shoot, most defenders are gonna try and get in the way of that shot so that they'll freeze for a second and then they create space either side of them for you to get away and make your next move. So let's break this down step by step. So the first step is shifting that ball out of your feet. This is gonna make the defender think that you're gonna strike the ball because you take a couple of wider strides before striking the ball typically. So step one is just shifting the ball out of your feet. Step two is trying to reenact the different parts of a shooting technique to make it really seem like you're about to strike that ball. So the different steps are planting that foot beside the ball, getting that arm out for balance, drawing that leg back, getting our chest over the ball. All these different little movements are gonna really sell the defender into thinking that we're gonna shoot the ball. So they're gonna try and block that shot. So after we've mastered pretending like we're gonna shoot, as our leg comes down again, so it comes to the ball, then we're actually gonna slow the foot down slightly and then hook the ball to the inside. Using the inside of our foot right here, just gonna try and cushion that ball. So instead of striking it, we then take it to the inside. The next move is a variation of the simple step over. Very effective for Mbappe, he uses it a lot. So the traditional step over is we throw our foot around the ball and then we take it in the opposite direction. But what Mbappe does, he throws his foot around the ball and then he makes a quick hop and then takes it in the same direction. It's really good for you players out there who've got a bit of speed about you. It's enough to just unbalance the defender to flatten their feet for a second and you can continue on at high pace. So let's break this one down step by step. So step one is simply throwing our foot around the ball. So just throwing it right around the front of that ball to protect it and we're planting our foot. Step two is as we plant that foot down, after we step over, we wanna get on the balls of our feet. That's gonna allow us to have a better acceleration position and you're gonna be a lot lighter on our feet. It's gonna be more explosive. So we throw our foot around the ball, land on the ball of our feet. The next step is a little bounce between the two feet. So as we land on the ball of that foot, we're gonna push onto the ball of our other foot. So we step over the ball, ball of the foot, ball of the foot going to be very explosive and light on our feet. So get used to doing this. And the final step is then just pushing the ball off into the space. And this is where you want to accelerate immediately. And that's why when we're on the ball of our feet, it's going to be much easier. We're already in a good position to accelerate away from the defender. So we're just doing this little movement to throw the defender off balance. And then we're using the balls of our feet to accelerate past him.
The next move is the sole roll, and it's similar to the La Croqueta, where we're transferring feet and then pushing it by the defender. But instead of using the inside of our feet on the first touch, we're actually gonna use the sole of our foot. It keeps very tight control, so it's very effective. So let's break it down step by step. So we're gonna have the ball to the side, then we're gonna get our foot on top of the ball using the studs on the bottom of our foot, rolling it across our body. So just get used to planting our foot on top of the ball, rolling it across the body. Step two is as we roll it across, we wanna plant that foot down immediately, getting on the balls of our feet. Always trying to get on the balls of our feet as quick as possible. It's gonna improve our acceleration. So rolling it and then stepping our foot down. Step three is as we roll the ball across and step down, we're actually hopping in between when we exchange feet. This is gonna give us a better touch and it's gonna allow us to accelerate immediately out simultaneously with touching that ball. So as we roll a ball across, hop onto the ball of our foot we just rolled with and then we push it off into the space with our opposite foot. The next move is an excellent one for you wingers out there who have a bit of speed about you. So this is what it looks like. We have our heels on the touch line. And what we're doing is we're faking like we're gonna be going backwards. So it's a little body feint. So a good way to do a body feint is to drop the shoulder, slight bend in the knee, throw the body in that direction to make the defender thinking you're going that way. And then you're gonna accelerate immediately in the other direction, taking that ball with you. So let's break it down step by step. So the first step is being light on our feet. And then we need to throw that body to one side. Really faint that body, make the defender think we're going to that one side. So be sharp with that movement, slight bend in the knee, drop the shoulder, drop the chest, throw your body to that side. Then we need to be on the ball of our foot once it hits the ground. Like we said before, it helps with acceleration. So be on the ball of that foot so that we can explode back up again. So as we come down, we're pushing back off of that foot we just planted with. So really be explosive and powerful through that movement. And then the next step is making contact with that ball. And as we make contact with that ball, we're then coming up onto the toes of our other foot. So let's piece it all together again. Body feint, push on the ball of our other foot and accelerate away. Moving into the final move, and this is a really good one again for you wingers with some speed about you. So this is how it goes. We've got the defender on our back. We're going back towards our own goal and we're gonna roll over the ball. Then halfway through the roll, we're gonna roll it back in the opposite direction. So the first step is rolling that ball forward. But instead of just using the sole of our foot, we're actually gonna initially make contact almost with the inside of the foot here. That's gonna give more surface area so we can get a further roll. The further you can roll it, the more you're gonna make that defender think you're going to the inside, it's gonna be more effective when you accelerate away. And the final point is as we roll it to the inside and then roll it back, we're gonna do a 180 spin on our foot that was planted on the ground, get on the balls of our feet immediately and accelerate away. So we have the ball, roll it to the inside, roll it outside and we're away. All right guys, so those are all the skill moves I have for you today. Make sure you try these out in training before actually performing them on Defenders. But if you did enjoy this video, let me know by smashing that like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and also drop me a comment below. Let me know who your favorite player is and I'll try and get around to performing their skill moves in a future video. But as always, I will see you guys in my next video.